Hello there beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alondra and this is Whimsy Designs. Alrighty, so as you can see, we are in front of our sewing machine, which means we are sewing today. Uh, this is a dress that I got from, I believe it's Mood Fabrics. Is that? Yes, moodfabrics.com. They have a bunch of free samples. I found out about Mood Fabrics from Jenna Phipps. She is one of my favorite YouTubers right now, and I found this dress called the Sylvan Dress. I will put a picture up on the screen. And so this is what I decided to make. I actually prepared my fabric months ago <laughs> it's just been really busy and i have not been in the mood nor had the time to sew but now i finally have the time so i'm going to sew this i'm using a black stretchy fabric i got it from walmart from their like th four like eight dollars for three yards or something like that they give you like a bunch of yardage for not too much money at all and so there was this black stretchy fabric it's ribbed ever so slightly and so I thought this would make a really good fabric for this type of bodycon dress. I have already cut out all the pieces. Now I will show you quickly my bodice part, well sorry, the front panel is supposed to be just two pieces, a front and a back, that's it. But because this material is so thin, like you can see right through it. I am lining it with more of the same fabric. So because you get what you get when you buy whatever you get in that roll from Walmart, I did not have enough to have two solid pieces on each side for the front and the back. The fabric that I ended up buying, it was very long but not very wide. So what I end up doing in order to make a lining was I ended up splitting the pattern in half. So what I'm going to do first is sew both of the front and the back pieces together down the center so that they now make a whole piece. Then I will move forward with the rest of the process. The pattern does not call for a lining. So I think... I never really know what to do when I <laughs> interpret things on my own. But I think what I will do is I will attach the lining and the main fabric together. Then I will continue throughout the rest of the instructions as though it was just one solid piece. That's the plan. I hope it works. It should work. They should hopefully go quickly. I don't know. It's supposed to be simple. We shall see. But I hope that you enjoy. And um, I will link this, uh, what's this called? This pattern down below in the description. Once again, it's free. We love that. And yeah. So join me while I hopefully make a dress. Here is a quick glimpse at the pattern pieces. As you can see, this is just the main piece. You cut out enough to fit your curves and all that good stuff but this piece was not long enough. So the first thing I'm going to do is stitch this together on the front and the back. Then I will attach this to this on their side seams. And then the next instructions are to attach the front and back side seams together. So we will move forward as such. Okay, so we just finished sewing the two sides of the dress together and now we're moving on to the armhole bands. So that's like this part of the dress right here. Sorry, I'm trying not to flash my tit at you, but this part right here that like is a clean finish around the arm, that's what I'm making now. It's this piece on the pattern. So I'm going to take both pieces nice side together, or nice side facing up, then I'm going to fold them on top of their cells nice side together, and then we will stitch right along here on this short edge, and we'll do it for both pieces. Now 
that these pieces are sewn together, I am going to fold this binding in half with the wrong sides together, pin, and then pin them to the armhole of the dress. So my wrong side is what's out. So when I fold these in half, I'm folding it so now that my pretty side is out. I'm just gonna put a couple pins in around this. So that it stays in place nicely. I just wanna say one more great thing about mood fabrics is that they give you the instructions but along with the instructions they also show pictures of the steps so right now as i am pinning my binding or sorry yeah this is binding as i'm pinning the binding together i'm also looking at the photos on the website to see how they did it which is really helpful it doesn't say to press it, but if you didn't have any pins or you didn't feel like pinning or you wanted it to be extra secure, I would say pressing this would be a really good step. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my the right side of the armband and the right side of the fabric, which is this side here, and I am matching them up. So the way I'm doing that is so that my, so my pressed edge is down and my raw open edge is up. And I am going to pin these together. So that when it's done, it will flip up and it will be that nice clean edge. I know it's hard to really focus because it's just like a sea of black right now, but I do hope me talking through this is explaining it for you in case you wanted to do this too. But if you're anything like me, you do your best work when you can see somebody make it before you so that you know what to look for and if they have any tips to give, you can get them. So this is now around the back and I'm gonna bring it up the front armhole part. is that I never stitched my arm bands together and I feel like that should be done before I continue with this step. Oh, okay. It did tell me. It said sew at the shoulders and seam lines and side seams. When I thought, I thought it said start at the shoulder, which this would still be the armpit. So yeah, in the first step, you will get your shoulders together and then you go down the arm. Obviously you avoid the arm holes, your arm can fit through here, but you wanna go straight across and then down the side. So I'm just gonna backtrack really quick, go straight across on both shoulders, then I'm gonna finish pinning and stitch around the armhole.
I'm just trying on the dress and seeing how it fits. I'm pinching in right underneath my armpit just so it can lay flat and I'm going to make some adjustments there. And besides that adjustment and hemming the bottom, this dress is done. I am finally finished with this dress. It took me longer than I expected to, but that's because I still have not figured out how to do a bottom hem. I don't know why that's the thing that gives me the most trouble, but it is. And now it's finally time for the reveal. So this is the finest piece. The finest piece? I mean, it is fine. But this is the finished piece. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below so we can get to chit and chatting. The pattern, extremely easy to follow. A stretchy material, less than easy to work with, but it was doable. The length, I tried to make it longer than the pattern, and I think it ended up the same length as the pattern. Um, so you can see, baby got back. Ooh, baby's got deodorant too. Um, so baby got back, and having a longer dress means that when the back is doing what the back do, that my booty ain't trying to hang out too. Yeah, yeah. Um, but besides that bit back here, which is quite breezy, um, I love it. I really do. I did a little, I think I told y'all, if I didn't tell you, I did a little nipping and tucking in the arm hole, armpit area because this binding that we did around the, the edge, that was starting to like go like that and it just doesn't look like it's a right fit when your clothes aren't fitting you right. So I just pinned, uh, re-pinned it down and then just stitched it up a little bit just to tighten things and I did that all under the armpit so you wouldn't see all of that sewing mess. Um, next time, I would make it extra, extra long so when I fail at um, hemming it the first time and then having to cut off an inch, then I'm still left with enough inches to feel comfortable. Um, I do feel comfortable, but I don't feel as comfortable as I would if I had one to two more inches on the lower half. Yes, that was my hip popping. So that is all I have for you. If y'all like this, please give it a like. This is my actual first video after I have over 100 subscribers, so thank you so much for subscribing. Please continue to subscribe, tell your friends, like these videos, I love the engagement, comment, I love to read your comments when you do. The few of you that do, thank you. The few of you that don't, let me hear from you. Do you like this? Do you wanna see more videos like this? Like more easier, faster sewing projects? Um, if there's another project I've done in the past that you want to see, let me know. I'm hoping to get back into macrame, but I also might be moving and that, those two don't really So sorry, my camera overheated and stopped recording. But yes, I am moving soon and it has been a really hard time just trying to pack up my craft room, let alone actually plan or record a video. So please don't mind my absence for a while this has already been a very long break since my last video but i do hope to be back in the craft room making videos for you guys very soon so please comment down below what you want to see next for me i'm hoping to do some more macrame projects coming up but i just want to thank you all for liking and viewing and subscribing and commenting all of the things so that my channel can continue to grow and i can keep making videos for you guys so thank you so much i hope you have a beautiful day bye